Here is how you can troubleshoot and repair a dirt mobile cell phone. I'm going to start from beginner level. I'm going to take you this way. First, what is a dirt mobile phone? A dirt mobile phone is a cell phone that does not get switched on or won't turn on and won't charge. Now you know that this is basically for beginners. Yeah, they really need to know this. And the second one is how does a mobile phone get dirt? First, if your phone gets dropped down on the floor or on any hard surface area, yeah, these are the things that when you hold a cell phone in your hand that does not switch on, you need to know all these things. How can a phone get dirt? Yeah. So the second reason why a phone can get dirt is that if your mobile cell phone gets wet by raindrop or falling inside water, you understand? Rain can damage your phone. I mean, water can damage your phone like yeah 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 i really mean that it's very easy for water to damage your phone completely once there is water flowing in your phone pcb there will be shortage on the pcb i have a video that will show you how you can check shorting on a pcb using your multimeter and still to make more about that if there is any kind of shorting in the pcb positive and the negative thing will be connected and you know what happens when the positive and the negative side of the phone connect with a uh, some kind of high amount of voltage in the battery you hear boom yeah the phone is gonna burst like a bomb yeah well so let's get into the troubleshooting tutorial right now i take my time explaining this first because i really want you to understand before you get into the tutorials on how you are going to troubleshoot a dead mobile phone you understand First, if you receive a cell phone that does not get switched on or does not charge, the first thing you will need to do, remove the battery and check the voltage. It must be at least to 4.2 volt. If it's less than this, use any battery booster that you have and boost the battery voltage. After boosting the battery voltage, put it on charge and see if it will charge. If still does not get switched on, then try the next step. Step 2. Insert a charger and check the battery connector using your multimeter and see if there is charging voltage. If there is no charging voltage then, then use your multimeter and check the positive and the negative side of the battery connector to see if it's shorting. If you don't know how to check shorting then by the end of this video I will give you a video that will help you know everything about shorting and how to check it. But if you already check there is no shorting and there is charging voltage in the battery connector then try this next step step three check power on and off switch there should be at least one to three point five volt in the on and off switch clean the switch and check if the flag is broken if it's broken then do jumper if there is voltage in the power button and still the phone does not get switched on then try this next step Step 4. Reload the phone software by downloading and flashing the phone. Downloading the phone firmware and flashing the phone. If you follow these 4 steps that I have given you carefully, you will be able to troubleshoot 70% of the mobile phones. Remember, this is just the first episode. So guys, here will be the end of this first episode. Episode 2 will continue from here.